Hello everyone, welcome to Sheet Metric. Today we will learn about how to fetch the values of cryptocurrencies inside Google Sheet. Uh, so the first function that we will use would be the Google Finance function to fetch the values of the cryptocurrencies. And we will see what all other attributes can be fetched with the Google Finance function and what can't. Apart from that, we will also see the use of three websites from which we would be importing the data of different cryptocurrencies in a tablet format directly into the Google Sheet. As you must be knowing, cryptocurrencies are traded round the clock uh, across different exchanges in different currencies. Let's go to google.com slash finance to understand it. Here, let's click on crypto. Here, you must be seeing BTC slash INR. So this is the value of Bitcoin in uh, INR and then uh, Ether in INR, then Cardano, then XRP. So these are uh, different cryptocurrencies. Let's say if I type BTC over here, here you can see this is BTC slash USD, the value of Bitcoin in US dollar, value of Bitcoin in Canadian dollar, value of Bitcoin in Australian dollar and GBP and henceforth. If I click on BTC slash USD, you will see this is BTC dash USD. If I click on BTC slash INR, this is uh, URL changes to B BTC dash INR. So we will use this thing to fetch the value uh, through the Google Finance function. So since the value of any coin would be different in the different currencies. So let's write it over here. So this is INR, this is USD, this is GBP, this is CAD for Canadian dollar. So uh, as the URL is uh, saying, you need to pass coin code and then a dash and then the currency code. So let's build this. So for that, uh, I am using a concatenate function. So concatenate, then this is the coin code and then uh, this is the dash. I am passing it as a string, hence double quotes and then the currency. Let's now try to uh, wrap it inside a Google Finance function. Google Finance, then if I pass it over here, I am getting the value of Bitcoin in INR. If I drag it over down, then I should get the value of Bitcoin in US dollars and value of Bitcoin in a pound and then Canadian dollar. Uh, let's try to do uh, same for the other coin, which is Ripple. So here I am again copying these currencies over here and I am just dragging it down. Here you can see this has not worked. So there is one more method which is more reliable to uh, fetch the values uh, of the cryptocurrencies. Uh, so here you need to pass the value inside Google Finance function in the format of currency, then colon, then the code of the coin, and then the currency in which you want. So let's say if you want uh, to fetch uh, the value of Ripple, then you, you need to pass XRP. And if you want it in, let's say USD, then you need to pass it like that. If I pass it inside a Google Finance function, this will give me the value of XRP, which is Ripple, one kind of a coin, right? So uh, like uh, likewise that here, uh, actually I need to change all these. So here, uh, what I am doing is here, I am writing first currency. I could have written concatenate as well, uh, but uh, just I'm showing you another method. So currency colon and then and uh, I need to pass the crypto code and then I need to pass the currency code. And then I have uh, dragged it over down and then you can see all these values have uh, populated over uh, here. Uh, does this work for BTC? Yes, it does. It works for uh, uh, most of the coins. Uh, now let's see, uh, since uh, standard Google Finance function has uh, many different attributes, uh, right? Uh, if you will click on help or if you had been an earlier viewer or on channel, you must be knowing any stock uh, has 14 to 15 attributes which can be pulled with a Google Finance function. Uh, let's say click it on learn more then you will get all these attributes uh, so are uh, these attributes uh, act applicable to cryptocurrencies uh, so some of the attributes might be applicable right market cap uh, etc uh, but uh, price open high low um, uh, so uh, this might become a little difficult to interpret because uh, here uh, the trading hours are around the clock right uh, so uh, let's see if uh, Google Finance function work for uh, this. So here I have listed down all the attributes over here, uh, like price, price open uh, and all. Uh, so uh, I am just copying uh, this one and I am type typing it over here. And then uh, I am passing it like this, Google Finance, then this currency code and then uh, the attribute 
I am also uh, locking it and I am dragging it towards right for all the values. But uh, none of the values has been returned. So uh, all other parameters are not applicable. So here I have one more table. Uh, so here, let's say I have taken uh, five coins and I have four currencies. So let's try to uh, fill this. Uh, so equal to Google Finance and I, I would be using uh, this no notation currency column and then uh, the uh, coin code and then uh, currency code. So here first currency column and uh, then and and then I need to pass the code of the coin which is over here. Uh, I am also locking it uh, because I would be dragging towards right as well as uh, towards down. Uh, so I want my column B to be intact and then uh, here it's uh, I and up. So here I want uh, my row number uh, 16 to be intact. So uh, this is like that. Now I have dragged it towards right. So it should load all the values and then I am dragging it uh, towards uh, down. So all the values uh, has been loaded. Uh, so this is about the Google Finance function uh, a, about coins uh, or cryptocurrencies inside Google Sheet. Next, we will look at uh, importing technique from a few websites. There are many websites from which uh, you can pull this data, uh, but I have uh, used three websites to demonstrate. The favorite one is uh, the third website, which I would be uh, showing to you. So uh, if you are liking our content, then please do subscribe uh, to the channel and please like the video or comment for any queries. So uh, the first uh, website here I have taken is CoinMarketCap. Uh, so let's go to the CoinMarketCap. And here uh, we have a list uh, of uh, coins where price 1 hour percentage, 24 hour percentage, 7 day percentage, market cap, uh, uh, circulating supply, etc. is there. So we will try to import uh, this table directly into the Google Sheets. So for that, we will use uh, import HTML uh, function. Uh, so uh, import HTML, it imports data from a table or list in an HTML page. Uh, let's see the syntax. Uh, so here uh, first you need to pass the URL either you can give uh, this URL uh, Directly or you can reference it directly with the cell and then uh, it queries either a table or a list So you need to write uh, a table or a list and then you have to give a table number or a List number. So here uh, I am referencing it uh, over here and I want to query a table So I'm writing table and then uh, index. So which table number you want to pull? So table number one so here I need to provide the access. So I have provided the access and then you can see uh, this one hour percentage, 24 hour percentage different seven day market cap circulating supply. So this table has been pulled. So this is uh, the first website. Second uh, website uh, which would be more used in Indian context. So money control is a very famous uh, website in India. So here uh, also the prices are in INR. So people uh, would be working uh, in INR uh, so they have uh, kind of uh, direct access from here so here uh, let's say I'm writing import HTML and then URL and then table uh, here it's table number two uh, I know it because I had done it earlier uh, otherwise you have to kind of do a trial and error to fix it. So here you have got the table and then uh, the next uh, we would be pulling this data from uh, the trading view uh, directly. So one important thing about import HTML function, it uh, depends uh, a lot upon the, uh, the the external website security settings and how the website is built, etc. So uh, I'm sure uh, that uh, uh, all the three websites that I have demonstrated you, you might not be able to access uh, the data from all these three uh, in future after a year or so. Uh, so that that way you need to keep exploring other websites where uh, this is applicable. So uh, this is from the trading week. This is my favorite one. So here I have passed the URL and then you need to pass the table and then one table number. So this has given you uh, this table uh, which you are seeing here it uh, on the trading view so which is a uh, kind of price change percentage of 24 hour market cap uh, volume of 24 hour circulation supply also category so uh, that's all for this video about cryptocurrencies in google sheet uh, so i do keep making videos about uh, uh, uses of uh, google sheet for uh, financial markets uh, so do check it out uh, which is popping on the screen see you there thank you bye